This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Run this program to see how it works. Notice that the largest matching string function simply returns the word unknown. Let's check it out, guys. Uh, oh, okay. So unknown and unknown. But we got the smallest population of Wyoming and the smallest population of this country. Interesting. Let's hit reset. So write code for the largest matching string function using the comment and the code smallest matching string to help. When it, it works correctly, program should print the names of the state and the country with the largest populations. All right, let's check this out. So here is smallest matching string. And let's see what we do. Ah, right at the bat, guys, we are taking so smallest matching string functions right here. We pass it to lists. I bet this list is going to be a list of names and a list of populations. So then we say the smallest number is the first number in list two. Do we know that is the smallest number? No, we definitely do not, but we don't care. The reason we're doing this is we just want to retain that number because we are then going to compare that number to all of our other numbers. Now, we also assume then that list one at that same index, that's the name. So we know this is the name of the states and the population of the states. And I know that because right here, or it could be the name of the countries and the population of the countries. Regardless, name of states, population of states. So first thing I do is say that value at index zero, which for states, I think it'd be Alabama. Alabama is going to be saved here in the name. List one is the name. So now variable smallest num matching string is going to be Alabama. Smallest num is going to be the population of Alabama. So if I go data, Alabama, yep, that will be the first state. And the population is going to be somewhere here. Population will be this, right? And that will be the first value. Now, Alabama does not have the smallest population. I can see right here, look at this. Texas is definitely, I mean, Texas, Alaska is definitely smaller. So what will we do in that circumstance? Well, what happens is we're going to loop through all these values. And so we do a for loop. We set i equal to zero. I must be less than the length of our list. And then each time we hop through, we're comparing. We're saying, all right, our current value of list two, which is the population list, right? So the value at that index, is it less than the value that we currently have saved here in smallest number? If it is, we need to run this code. Bloop. Smallest number will now be set to whatever that value is. Plop. Smallest num matching string will now be adjusted, right? So we adjust the population if the population is smaller, and then we save the state's name also. This because this index for the state's name is going to be at the same index of the population, just in a different list. So this is trying to give us a big hint that this is what we kind of want to do down here. I'm going to start with a variable and show you. I also really, 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 really hate. I get what they're doing here with list one and list two. Uh, no, I don't, I don't like it. So I'm going to say name list, and then I'm going to say population list. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's more clear. So now I'm going to have a uh, name and I'm going to set it equal to my name list uh, zero. And then I'm going to have a uh, max, right? So the max population and that will be equal to population list zero. All right, so I know whatever name is that name list zero is going to be the state with that population because they these lists run side by side, if you will. So now let me go ahead and go over here and I want to for loop. So now I need to loop through all of these values. So I start with zero and now I need to be less than what? Well, I need to be less than the length of the list. So name list I'll do dot length. And so as long as I is less than that, I can keep looping through my list. Now, I'm just going to do a council log for now because I want to make sure, heck, that it's working. So I'm going to do council log and I'm just going to get rid of all of this, guys. I'm going to do name list and then I'm going to do I. Let me see if I'm at least printing this stuff out right now. And it looks like I am, right? So there's all the countries and all the states should be up here. And it is. Okay, great. Please, please, please test your code a lot. So I am printing everything out. Now let's go ahead and move on to the if statement then. Not only do I want to print it out, I actually don't want to print it at all. I want to compare. So what I want to know now is if my max population is less than 
or if I could also say population list I, right? If population list I is greater than what my max population is right now, that's a problem. I like it by the way, though. So if my max population is less than population list I, so if what I currently have saved for the max is less than this amount, is less than the current value of the population list that we're at, whatever index we're at, because keep in mind, I is going up by one each time, right? Uh, if it is less than that, we are in trouble. And by that, I mean, we just need a new value saved here. Get rid of that, let me get rid of that. And what we need is name is gonna be adjusted to name list, and then whatever name is at that index, so I, and then max needs to be adjusted to whatever value was at that index, population list, I. And I, guys, again and again, it's just index. And then return smallest num matching string, no. I'm returning just name, because that's what I called my variable. Now, you could have done largest num and largest num matching string. This is just what I'm calling my variables. That is up to you. So what's this doing? Well, we loop through the data. We loop through the data. Zoop, zoop, zoop. We go to, we go up by one each time. Every time we go through this loop, we take a look and we say, okay, is the current maximum less than whatever number we are at in our list? Now, what number could we be at? I have no idea. If we're currently on Arkansas or maybe we're on Idaho, it's going to check, okay, whatever my current minimum or maximum is, is it less than this? If it is, then if it happened to be, ooh, zooming, going to zoom in like crazy. If it happens to be, then the name needs to be updated to Idaho because Idaho would be the new max and that maximum number needs to be updated. And, and at the end, we just return the name of the largest. Let's check. Boom and boom. Cool. Victory. That one's tricky, though. Onward.